Hey everyone, this is Engga Rizky from Indonesia and currently I'm in Malaysia to try the Proton car and it's really good. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create the calendar with the calendar view, pure Android XML. So in this case, we don't use any software design. So if you want to learn how to create the calendar view with the good user interface design, and I'm going to show you how it works. Well, check it out. Okay, well, so we need to create new Android Studio project first. I'm going to create the new Studio Android project. And here should be calendar view Enga. Oh, and next. And I will use the IP16 with the empty activity. And this is it. Whatever for you. Maybe I will use the calendar activity. Okay, and finish. We just need waiting for the Gradle build. Before we are going to the Java language, I want to create the XML to create the beautiful user interface design for the calendar activity. So here, I'm going to close the Java language and I'm going to the RES to go to the values and styles. And in this case, we don't need any action bar. So just setting the action bar to the no action bar. And then we should change the background color in this layout to the layout and go into the text and I will change the background to the color primary dot. So the color it's same with the status bar as you can see here. Okay. And I'm going to change this uh, type, type of layout to the linear layout. So we are working on the linear layout. Here. and then it, this is the text view that we can give the ID with the my text okay and I'm going to setting the text color to the white and just text size is 22 SP we are working with the SP instead DP for the text only okay and after that I'm going to make this text view to the center so what I gonna do it's only to set in the gravity to the center oh sorry center horizontal oh it's not working so we are looking for to the center uh, gravity center horizontal mm, it's not working so before that I want to set in the margin, maybe margin left is the 32 dp, no, maybe 132, no, 100, 120, okay, it's enough, and looking for the margin top, maybe uh, 48 dp, okay, so here should be the depth, I will change to mark you it. and some like we need to change this margin left to the 100 one, 110 dp no 105 okay it's enough and text the ln is center okay so we need to change this text okay and then I want to create the linear layout here so before that we need to change the orientation of the parent layout which is the linear layout we need to change it to the vertical because I want to setting and I want to reorder the every single elements to the from the top to the bottom so here we already create the text view and we need to create linear layout with the 300 dp and this is for the our content and instead of the linear layout we need to create the calendar view okay so this is work content and this is work content and i think the height of the calendar view is around 310 dp uh how about 320 dp okay and in the linear layout we need to change the margin left 32 dp no maybe 42 or 44 
okay and then I want to change the background to be white but I want to make the corner of the big uh, I want to make the corner for every radius okay every corner has the radius so we're gonna to create a custom drawable in the drawable letter so firstly we need to set in the margin top maybe 32 dp uh, maybe 48 okay and then we just go to drawable to setting the uh, to customize the background of the calendar so hit new drawable and bg calendar okay and just change the selector to the shape and after that we need to change the uh, we need to add the corner with the radius is 10 dp and then we need to setting the solid color and i'm gonna setting a um, white color and we got it okay and going back to the activity calendar to setting this background to drawable big bg calendar and sounds like the calendar has the radius for every corner pretty cool isn't it so after that maybe you need the cta which is the call to action button after you mark your desk you should save it isn't it so below of the line area we need to create a button with the work content and work content and then just give the text here to the save my dead okay and then i'm going to make it to the center so i want to set in the padding left first maybe 20 db and padding rack is 20 db okay and setting the margin top is 24 dp uh how about 26 28 mm, i think i will go with 34 okay and then i want to set in the margin left 200 dp or maybe 120 yeah it's enough and i want i want to change this button background so we're going to drawable to create new resource bg uh btn okay and we just need copy from the bg kellen and just remove the solid color and for only the corners okay so here background and bg uh, sorry bg button and give the oh okay now we're going back bg button uh, to change the solid color we can use the color action okay and then change the text color to be white okay now we're gonna to run this application to check the layout is okay we're gonna to run into the emulator with the nexus 4 with apa 26 well, this is our current design. So far, is good. You can select the date and change for the every month has different dates. Okay. So what we're gonna do the next one is whenever you click the Tuesday, so it will be changed. Okay. So it's gonna be replaced with your current dates. Okay. Now we're going to calendar view to get the ID. So I will give the name is calendar view all right and this is button and this is my dead now we're going to java language and i'm will setting the calendar view is calendar view and then the text view it should be my dead isn't it now we're gonna to uh, pointing the the id for every these elements so uh cv calendar view is the cv and find our id calendar view and then text view is sorry sorry uh my depth is the text view and find our id my depth okay 
So we need to create the event that set on that change listener. So whenever you change the calendar, the my date should be replacement with the current dates. Okay. So here CV and set on that change listener like this. Okay. So this is the end. Uh, ENT. 1 and 2 and 3 this is start from the 0 which is the index and here we need to give the name string that and uh, ENT increment 1 plus 1 and then we need to plus again with the increment 2 okay and plus and plus increment okay and we need to change the place that here but my dad here and we need to replace with the date right now okay so I think it's enough so we're gonna to start it just try first okay well I'm gonna to try I change it as you can see here okay it's working properly so if you already mark your dates you just need to save my date and it's going to save to the database which is the sklite or firebase okay well thank you very much for watching and i hope it useful for you so please let me know if you have the another option or if you have the question about this video well nice to meet you from indonesia and don't forget to like comment and share it to your friends Thank you everyone, goodbye.